Okay, today's June 3rd, 2014, and we're back once again with David and his daughter Angelina. And I have your permission to video you and yes, you post you, correct? Yes, you do. And for the viewer, um, Angelina, you brought your father here a little more than a year ago with very late stage prostate cancer, and he needed your help to get in this office, didn't he? Yes. Having a really hard time walking at that point, yeah. And that was due to pain. Yeah, his pain was getting really bad at that point. That's more than a year ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, David, what, uh, what what's happened to you in the course of that year? The quality of your life, the pain, your energy. I understand you just beat the crap out of yourself in the past few days overworking, and <laughs> that's because I was so. Uh... You were able to uh, do You know, it was like Jack in the Box, you know, like held in there so long when when the top popped, I had to get out and get in that sunshine and start doing everything. And, and I had realized that the same, very same trace elements that are missing from our diet, you know, the low nutrition, uh, it was, was in a product called Ocean Solutions. Okay. That makes plants grow faster than normal, thicker, stronger, and tastier. Not to mention the nutrient is much denser than any other so-called organically grown plants growing without that. So and you took this stuff and you got a lot of energy? Well, what happened was, was I'm getting it from you, uh, the treatment, the salicinium treatment with the ocean, with the, with the 90 trace elements. But right. it's the same uh, or very similar situation with these plants that got me so fired up that all I wanted to do was grow my own food and eat nutritiously. Nutritiously dense foods can't really buy them out there because no matter what they say the soil's been depleted and you're not going to get the density so consequently uh you know i start doing that and yeah i got to build his own system to yeah I, I got some back pains and problems but it just seemed like it was all worth it and i just really wanted to get on doing it you couldn't have done that last year no and this is a all. year later I, after what they told you was terminal cancer yeah, correct I couldn't even you couldn't have done that two months ago what I got offered from from Kaiser was hospice and Lubron. That's what I got. But nevertheless, I was telling you earlier that I said to my wife last week, you know what, this is an odd feeling, but how is it that I'm so happy? You know, if you were to look back and look forward to my life right now, and you could show what, what happened to me and all the things I had to go through in the cancer situation, I'd be pissed off and depressed. Why is this happening to me? It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong, you know. And yet, I'm so happy because I am surrounded with a loving family and I got a good doctor. I got all the right advice and I'm going through this problem, you know, without any fear. Without, I'm not like overwhelmed because I'm thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? There's no nail biting in any of this stuff because I feel confident in, in the way I'm being handled by you, Dr. Rowan, the Salicinian program, my family, I can't complain. I mean, you know, I just can't. For the record, legally, I've never promised you a cure, have I? No, you, first thing you asked me is, did I believe in God? And I said, yeah, and you said, well, then he made you and he'll cure you. He made your body to cure itself. All we're gonna do is help uh, boost your immune system and that's what it does. Actually, what I did say is I believe all healing comes from God. God. And, it's, and, and it's up to us to stimulate your body to do what God designed it to do. Yes. Yes. Is, is that not what I said? Yes. Yeah, the yes. first right? thing you said was that you couldn't promise us anything. <laughs> and that you know, it was up to us to determine what didn't. we wanted to take. But that what you could offer was um, ways to help his immune system help himself. And that's what we're doing. Angelina, what, what do you notice about your father today, 13 months after you first brought him to me? Um, well, at that time, I knew he was going through a lot of pain, but he was really trying to um, like tough his way through it. And so I know that he was, he was you know, trying his best to get through every day with what the pain he was having. So now he's happy and he's able to enjoy each day um, and he has better use of his physical body than he did then I mean he was it was he, if he had kept going that route it would have just gotten worse I know and he would have just been bedridden and 
He's gone long periods yeah. now without any pain at all, right? Yeah. The, and this and, and this pain you just had in the last few days was related to overworking muscles that you hadn't worked in months and months because you were feeling so good that yeah. you could work them, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And we were telling him, all right, just try to maybe take it easy a little bit because he was really just climbing up ladders and hammering stuff and drilling things and we're thinking, well, wow. <laughs> I'd be sore too. You're going to end up, you know, hurting yourself, which, you know, he, I'll he send you some, some pictures of my better. hydroponic garden. Okay. I'd like to see it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You'd be better. amazed at it. But. All right. Well, this is another in our series on you, David, <laughs> and um, I hope that there will be many more. Oh, well, there will be. Uh, the next one he'll dance. <laughs> I, I promised my wife that I got 30 more good years me and her, and I'm going to be 70 in August. So, well, I'm certainly going to do. Agreement. I'm going to certainly do my best to help you. <laughs> my dad wants to make it to be 100 as well. He's 95. I That's believe close. I'll live beyond 100. I really do. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you.